L-glutamine has been used by athletes and bodybuilders like Arnold for decades. But more recently, it's become one of the most popular supplements for people looking to support their gut health. Which is not surprising, since glutamine is the preferred fuel source of the cells lining your intestines. In other words, it's like protein powder for the gut. <laughs> or like spinach for Popeye, and can help it stay strong. Now, one of the most popular questions we get here at Essential Stacks, <laughs> since we make one of the most popular L-glutamine supplements, is how much L-glutamine should you take per day? So here's the thing. If you're some crazy athlete or bodybuilder like Arnold, or even Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and train like this, you might just want to mix an entire tub of glutamine into your morning smoothie. <laughs> just kidding. But what about the rest of us looking for gut support? How much glutamine should we take to support our digestive health? Let's find out. So the first question we're going to look at is how much L-glutamine is recommended? Now the important thing for us to know is that there is no general recommended intake of glutamine per day. So while you might Google daily recommended intake of vitamin C and get a clear answer that men should take 90 milligrams a day and women 75 milligrams a day, you are not going to find the same thing for glutamine. And that's not surprising given that the FDA has only issued daily intake targets for macronutrients like protein and fat, as well as vitamins like vitamin C and minerals like zinc. So without any official guidelines in place, it means we have to go on a bit of a journey to work out the optimal range. And the good news, of course, is that our research team at Essential Stacks has done all of this hard work for you. So to explain our answers to this question, we're going to cover four things in the remainder of this video. First, we'll look at how much glutamine we already get through our diet. This way, we can see where our existing intake levels are. Then we'll look at whether this is enough glutamine by itself. That way, we can see whether a glutamine supplement is actually necessary. Next, we'll look at what supplemental L-glutamine dosages have been studied to be safe. That way, we can establish a maximum dosage amount. Finally, we'll look at what amount of L-glutamine health experts recommend for people looking to support their gut health. This will, of course, give us a better idea of the ideal amount as opposed to the maximum tolerable amount. And obviously, none of this is medical advice. So if you want to find out the precise dose that works for you, please talk with your healthcare professional. So now let's answer the question, how much L-glutamine do we get through our diet? Well, since L-glutamine is an amino acid, it is found in protein-rich foods like beef, chicken, eggs, and salmon. And while some plant-based foods like spinach, nuts, and lentils may also contain some glutamine, it is minor by comparison. This means unless you're vegan, you're probably getting a decent amount of glutamine through your diet. Unfortunately, it's hard to calculate the exact amount. You see, while food tracking apps may give you data on the basic macros like protein, fat, and carbs, they are not so forthcoming with glutamine data. And so that's why our research team had to dive into the scientific literature on this topic. And when we looked through studies analyzing how much glutamine you're likely getting through your food, we found two interesting data points. The first, a 2000 study by Harvard Medical School. They estimated that 48% of the amino acids in food proteins were in the form of glutamine. <laughs> of course, that type of geek speak doesn't really help us. But thankfully, they also crunched these numbers to discover what that meant in terms of grams of glutamine per day. And by their calculations, it meant, quote, less than 10 grams of dietary glutamine is likely to be consumed daily by the average person, unquote. By contrast, in this 2008 research piece published in the Journal of Nutrition, the researchers revealed, quote, the normal daily intake of glutamine from dietary protein is three to six grams per day, unquote. This was based on the idea that the average 70 kilogram individual will eat 0.8 to 1.6 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day. So we can conclude that the typical person will get anywhere from three to 10 grams of L-glutamine a day from their diet depending, of course, on how much protein-rich food they eat. With that said, if you're an athlete like The Rock and eat a lot more, and in fact, we have a clip of what he eats each day. Let's check that out. In front of you, Brian, is the uh, 12 Labors diet. I think we can safely say two things. <laughs> One, The Rock basically eats an entire Thanksgiving table every single day. 
<laughs> and two, since athletes eat a lot more protein than us normal people, it also means they will consume more glutamine than us. So their daily intake may be well in excess of 10 grams. So now we know how much glutamine we get through food. The big question is, will three to 10 grams of glutamine be enough? So for most people, it may well be enough to fuel their body, in particular, their intestinal health. But as this research study published in Nutrition Reviews put it, quote, during stress, the body's requirements for glutamine appear to exceed the individual's ability to produce sufficient amounts of this amino acid, unquote. Which means for those of us who are exercising hard, experiencing stress, inflammation, or immune system issues, or most commonly poor gut health, well then the three to 10 grams of glutamine you get through your diet may not be enough. And in these situations, extra L-glutamine in supplement form can be very helpful. But the big question of course is, how much? Well, as a starting point to working this out, let's answer the question, how much L-glutamine is safe. In other words, what amounts have been studied and shown to be tolerable? So in the 2008 research piece published in the Journal of Nutrition, which we looked at before, researchers concluded that, quote, intakes of glutamine of approximately 20 to 30 grams seem to be without ill effect in healthy adult humans, unquote. They also found, quote, doses of up to 0.65 grams per kilogram body mass of glutamine have been reported to be tolerated, unquote. So if, for example, you are a 125 pound female, which is equivalent to 56.7 kilograms, it translates to roughly 37 grams of glutamine per day. While for say a 175 pound male, which is equivalent to 79.4 kilos, it translates to roughly 52 grams of glutamine per day. In other words, researchers found supplemental L-glutamine can be tolerated even when taken in high doses. Other studies have supported this, such as the 2020 study published in Nutrients, while other studies have suggested the maximum tolerable amount is a bit less, with this one suggesting it is just under 40 grams per day. Probably even more interesting for us though, is that the FDA has in fact approved L-glutamine at levels of 30 grams a day for both short bowel syndrome and sickle cell. And what we can draw from that is that glutamine is seen as tolerable and safe at these levels. <laughs> now with all of that said, before you go out and start taking 30 grams of glutamine a day, it's important to remember what your health goals are. Because for most of you who are not suffering from issues like short bowel syndrome, and are instead simply looking to support your gut health, you will likely be fine using a much smaller amount per day. Not only will this be easier for you to consume, but it will also save you a lot of money. So now let's look at the question, how much L-glutamine do experts recommend? Well, the first place we wanna show you is examine.com, and that's because they are a supplement research group with no actual ties to supplement products. And because of this, they are one of the most trusted expert voices in the dietary supplements world. So if we look at the research piece on L-glutamine supplements, we can see they recommend supplementation of L-glutamine tends to be dosed at five grams or above. And as they clarify further down, this is sufficient efficient for intestinal health reasons, meaning gut health support. In other words, examine suggests five grams or higher for people looking to support their gut health. Next up, let's look at what another leading expert voice in the nutritional sciences has to say. Specifically, Dr. Dominic D'Agostino, who you might have seen in a TED video or several times on the Tim Ferriss podcast or even on YouTube. In fact, here's a clip of Dr. D'Agostino talking with Dr. Rhonda Patrick about the optimal dose of glutamine for gut health. The gut's going to be very greedy when it comes to glutamine. It's very greedy. So I think just, you know, maybe even five, 10 grams of glutamine to help repair your gut. We know that if your gut permeability is impaired, that can wreak havoc in your body as far as systemic inflammation. So, so hopefully we start to get a good picture of how much glutamine per day makes sense for general gut support, especially for the intestinal lining. And that number might be anywhere from five to 10 grams per day, depending on the individual. The big takeaway here is that the serving size is at least five grams per day, which means two things. One, L-glutamine in capsule form is probably not ideal since you would have to swallow eight to 10 capsules a day just to hit five grams. 
and even more if you're trying to take in 10 grams. And secondly, so-called leaky gut supplements that include glutamine, along with many other ingredients such as slippery elm and marshmallow root, typically only deliver just one to two grams of glutamine per serve, which means they are arguably underdosing the main ingredient for intestinal health, being the glutamine itself. All of this is to say, if your goal is to support your gut health, then your best bet is likely an L-glutamine supplement in powder form. So now we get to the final part of this video and look at the question, what is the suggested use amount for glutamine? Or in other words, how much do we at Essential Stacks believe is the optimal amount of glutamine? And of course, this is not a recommended dose as that is something only your healthcare practitioner can give you, but rather a suggested use direction. Well, if you look on the back of the label of our gut L-glutamine, no surprises. We actually have the same serving size suggestion in line with the research carried out by both Examine and Dr. D'Agostino. As you can see here, it is one scoop of L-glutamine powder, which is five grams, taken one to two times a day, meaning five to 10 grams a day. So to sum everything up, we believe five to 10 grams per day is the optimal serving size for glutamine if you're looking to support your gut health. And that's because it delivers enough glutamine to feed and nurture your GI tract, but not too much to run the risk of tolerance issues popping up. So if you're looking to make glutamine a part of your daily supplement protocol, five to 10 grams, which is also in line with expert consensus is the optimal amount. Now that you know how much glutamine can make sense for gut health, you might find it interesting to learn how to take L-glutamine, including with or without food, and to also know which drinks to mix it into. For all of that, check out the video we did on how to take glutamine, link in the description below. And of course, if you would like to try our Gut L-glutamine, which is made right here in the USA and third-party tested, you'll find a link to it in the description below. Now we wanna hear from you. How much L-glutamine do you take and why? Let everyone know by leaving a comment below. If you enjoyed this video as part of our glutamine series, then hit the like and subscribe button to make sure you never miss another video. Our team of dietitians and doctors here at Essential Stacks are so excited to continue researching which foods and supplements help your gut health. That way you can save hundreds of hours of trial and error and focus on what's best for your digestive health. Thanks for watching and see you in the comments. Bye for now.